Hi guys, we're here with Narratude for Blender and let's talk about Decal Machine Part 2. Today we're gonna create a subset decal, which means it consists of more than one element. In the previous part we were doing simple decals, so it's just one object, but in this one we're gonna merge two. And the reason for it is that we can apply more than one material to that decal. So let's start traditionally with creating a sphere, because we will need it. And you know what, well, let's just subdivide it to Control 3 and uh, let's slap some mud on it with hard ups. Is it, uh, this one is not shiny enough. So let's go uh, Control M and shift click on, on this one and let's see something shiny but not too reflective. This is cool. And let's sharpen it for smoothness. Perfect. Let's move it somewhere here so it doesn't bother us, okay? All right, so let's start with a plane. And what we're going to do, let's go back to solid mode. What we're going to do is we're going to create a, a kind of like a sci-fi floor tile. So I'm going to increase the size by 1.5. Now, when you create floor tiles, right, make sure that they that they fit together in a puzzle. So let me show you what I mean. Um, let me grab another plane, right? And I'll show you an example of my decals, okay? So I'm gonna make this plane a bit bigger. And watch this. So when I um, go to my panels, let's go to rectangles first. And now let's grab this one, for example, right? So you see, I can drop this plane here and I can then array it, right? let's say this way okay and then if I draw up a square one okay like this one it will basically fit because it's um, one and a half size one and a half width of these ones okay so now if I array this one all right see what I mean they just fit so you can tile them and then when i have the narrow decals right these ones they um not that one there's one more here like a narrower one like this one right so you see i have really narrow ones so let me adjust it which is like a half size of of this gap and then i have a thicker ones like this one which perfectly fit this gap so when you create decals you know uh for example for flooring make sure that you know you respect the size because otherwise it would just make no sense you know and this way you can actually tile them and create uh, your own sci-fi floor right anyway let's just remove it and let's go back to our floor here so solid mode and uh let's get on with it so again just like in the previous part this basic plane don't touch it okay don't even breathe at it just leave it alone that's really important now you see scaling is off so we need to apply scale so uh control a and apply scale and now we can have fun instead of insetting i'm gonna actually cut it so i'm gonna go to box cutter and enable uh, my snapping and i'm going to actually change actually it's already changed good so now let's go to um, in object mode perfect let's cut it um let's cut it like this but preferably with a box and you know what i actually want to make it a bit more so 0 0.05 something like this a bit more a, a bit more thin so this will allow you to cut precisely and i'm going to slush it and before i slush it i'm going to actually apply a bevel you can apply bevels with cutters that's fine uh, but be careful with again be careful with a hard ups um, auto bevel because occasionally it will break shading and there's nothing you can do about it so the same way it's just you know it doesn't work very well with uh, well it doesn't work at all with machine uh, mesh machine normal transfer so you know just do it manually select both of them and let's actually um, go to operations and smart apply so this will apply the cutter now we need to get rid of these lines okay this is important you can't have lines going at this kind of angle into bevel so i have a specific video on this one so if you want uh, you can go ahead and watch it but that's just a bad idea so i'm going to go to symmetry hard up symmetry and symmetrize it across so i'm going to have lines in here 
and I'm going to grab these faces, right, and just combine them and symmetrize it again. So now I got lines in the middle and, you know, no lines, no edges in here. So now when I grab this, uh, this edge, I can extrude it down and drop a face on it. You want to enclose, okay, whatever is inside here, right, this is the second element, you see, you want to enclose it in. Another thing that's important, I would recommend creating the second element from the first one. So they share the same um, the same origin point or the same position of an origin. They do not share technically an origin point, but when you flip between them, it's just the position is identical. OK, it's not necessary, but I've noticed occasionally that it messes up. Um, it could mess up, you know, things in your decal. So I'm going to, insert, you know, just sort of. Uh, scale it just a little bit right just teensy winsy bit you don't want the edges of you don't want the edges to be too close because uh, you're gonna you're gonna suffer from something that i call geo pulling and i'll show you how it works later so we're gonna extrude it downwards right let's see how deep that goes yeah it's it could go a little bit deeper or we could just lift this one now what you don't want you don't want situations like this okay right this is a bad idea and I'll tell you why this is again related to geo pooling if you're gonna create a gap like this okay this geo all right this one is gonna get pulled down to the bottom of this one okay right so you're gonna get pulled down all the way down and this will create um, kind of like um, ridges in here on the corners of the bevel so wherever uh, you see these faces they're gonna get pulled down and you will see like a um, like a jig at the edges okay so you really need to be very precise with where the uh the base ends okay um the base need to end really close to where your other element ends so just below it okay as close as you can right and make this one as shallow as possible so if you don't need to go really deep do not go really deep okay with your cuts and stuff we might be okay, but uh, we will see. Another issue is that, watch this. See the distance between, be, because I actually scaled it, the distance between this edge and this edge is different. So what I would do now, actually, is, you know, grab this edge, to be honest, one more time, okay, and shift D it. I should have inserted the previous one, but I don't want to actually uh, control Z it now because I already, um, I already have my depth set and all that. So I'm just gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply insert this one just a little bit like that. That's okay, I think. And control I and simply delete these faces, right? So now you see I got very precise, beautiful, the same distance, you know. Uh, all around uh, this edge right and that's what I want you really want to go as precise as possible with with decals because it might look fine on a geo right but when you start baking it and you know the alpha map is created the normal map things might not look so peachy okay so all right let's check our sharpening sharpening is fine so we can sharpen this which will add auto smooth and we're going to add a bevel okay we're gonna add actually you know what uh let's add a chamfer like that okay just for fun and let's see how this is gonna work for us now i'm gonna make a cut in here so orthographic mode shift v switch to view and let's cut it with an angon and let's switch this angon to snapping yeah so now that I think I didn't turn it on here. That's the one. Um, let's let's create a cut in here like this, and we want. Do we want bevels on this one? Let me think. Maybe yeah. Maybe we do. Maybe twenty. Twenty is enough. Let's try this. How does it look? I kind of like it. I kind of like it. So let's uh, let's um, change it to modify the mirror. And with shift, we're going to copy to both sides. And then 
sharpen it again. So actually, you know what? Let's control sharpen it so it's gonna get applied. Now let me think. Let's grab this edge, all of it, right? And let's bevel it. And now you're gonna see we're getting problems, right? See here? We're getting problems. So let's go to machine tools and just press three to clean it. Let's see if it's gonna fix it. There we go. There was some problem with the geo. So let's get this bevel first, okay? In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a, a few more uh, a few more um, segments. So let's give it a few more segments, and I'm gonna do the same thing with this one, okay? Right, and then I'm gonna bevel this edge. And this is important. You need to bevel the corner edges as well, not this one, just this one. Another thing is you need to be careful not to select edges that you don't want like this by accident, okay? Because this will mess up your shading and you will need to use something like, you know, a um, mesh machine to fix it. So we got a problem in here, but we can fix it with unfuck. So we're going to grab these edges, Y and unfuck. This is a mesh machine tool. If you don't know how to use mesh machine, go to my YouTube um, channel and find it. There's a video on mesh machine and that's perfectly fixed. And now I'm going to symmetrize it across, right? So shift and symmetrize it across, right? And everything should be peachy. And after you do that, you bloody well check it if everything is fine because fixing this thing later on is a nightmare because remember these are baked, okay? You could fix it with mesh machine, but it's not as easy as, you know, doing it from a get go. So. Once you notice problems, fix it. Remove this edge and remove this edge because we don't need them. All right. So far, so Gucci. Now let's bevel this one as well. So let's select this edge and this edge, sharpen them. So mark sharp and then let's bevel it. And we really need to bevel it properly. So quite a few segments there. Nice. It should be all right. Now let's create some screws or like bolts in these corners, right? So let's uh, grab a circle and we could drop it somewhere. Whoops. Uh, let's go to object view. And with control, we can, this is a fantastic tool from Box Cuts. I had this grid is just brilliant because you can precisely drop it where you want it mathematically correctly okay now i'm going to increase this to like maybe 60 i'm not joking i'm just gonna go crazy with it because i i want it to be really smooth okay so am i cutting the right mesh i think it's mirrored right so let's see let's apply the mirror all right this has a mirror here let's apply it and there we go and now let's grab this shape so let's grab this uh shape and grab the top face and Q control mark and let's bevel it outside but you see now we're catching the bevel you gotta be really careful with it so let's move it just inside somewhere here right more or less should be fine and let's um, let's select this one and sharpen it and it should be fine now we can you know copy this across and everything is peachy. So now let's see, are we going through the mesh though? Because it's important. Yes, we are. Now that's not, not the perfect situation. So what we're going to do is select all these faces, right? In fact, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to revert, revert this and go back to the cutter, which was life. And I'm going to actually move it a little bit up. So I'm going to move this one. A little bit up like this and see if it's gonna help i think this is it right so now it's uh yes now it's not going through the mesh which is what i want i want to avoid geo pulling as much as i can so that's why i did that now let's uh let's grab this face and let's inset it let's bring it up and let's give it a chamfer a really deep one and then we can do something like this. All right, so we got like bolts in the middle, you know, something. Now we need to bevel all these things, okay? So let's select these edges first and bevel them. And again, be generous with bevels, you know, like really. I'm not joking. 
Just be generous. Just be generous with them battles. All right, should be fine. We're gonna battle this one as well. Right, we good. Now everything is smooth. Everything is fine. Good. So now we can actually copy this across again using symmetry, right? So we got this nice shape going on. We need a bevel here, but before we do that, right? Let's fix this edge here. So we need to run this um, this way. So K and C and just to this edge and enter and remove this garbage. And we need to connect these two together with an edge and remove this junk because we don't need it. And then we're going to simply symmetrize it. At the end, we will have to remove all these lines, but you know, we're going to be creating more elements in here, so I wouldn't bother with it yet. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create um, a pipe in here. So I'm going to add a plane, scale it, move it up a bit like that. Okay. Oops. Right. And remove these two um, verts because we don't need them. And we're going to let's actually subdivide it right let's um let's subdivide this vert i mean split it and alt d and z to do something like this select these two x sx and do something like that sx to scale them in and easy going down and i'm gonna scale them a little bit more to make it more smooth something like this all right so now i'm going to apply the scale and with hard ups i'm going to create a curve oh wait we have to i forgot we have to uh smooth that thing out so you know actually i'm going to select all of them it's not a big deal and i'm going to create maybe three three uh, bevel um three verts out there and let's make it thick and 1s and control 3 you really want to go smooth on this one now this pinching here could be a problem once we bake it so you know what i'm gonna bring it to local and i'm gonna you know see if i can fix this i can actually make it a little bit more uh chillaxed okay like this you see you don't want that pinching you know the pinching is bad news usually so just make it relaxed okay and then i'm gonna copy it across and across the mesh and we should be fine did it copy it no i have to probably convert it to mesh and then i can copy it across brilliant and then i'm gonna copy it across this one so so like this and um, change to modifier and mirror now we're gonna bring it down so gonna bring it down we don't need this anymore something like this okay so let's see go to orthographic so we can see what we're doing gy and this cannot be uh let's bring origin to geometry i don't know if this is not too thick so i'm gonna make it a little bit thinner because you don't want you don't want geo pulling on geo because when this is gonna get baked things might get actually pulled together and it doesn't look very good now what we need to do is we need to trim it okay because it sticks out which is not good so let's select this one right and let's select um box and let's just simply slice it okay and you know everything is fine and we should actually make sure that uh, so let's go to um and mod scroll and let's move it a little bit down so somewhere here now this middle part is sticking down you see that so we need to bring it up so let's grab this and let's grab all these faces and GZ and move it up so it's inside not outside okay and now I think this is already mirrored so we find think it's fine so you know visual geo to mesh okay perfect now let's save this okay right and we can remove this cutter it's okay all right now we're almost done but i want to create some other you know kind of a point of interest in the middle i don't know maybe some kind of indentation or something so what we're gonna do is we're going to 
create it with let's try to create it with hard ops the old way so let's uh let's click hold control and alt and draw a box from from here in object mode this should work so control and then alt there we go and then once you do that one you need to press v twice and then you increase the uh let's do it again so v and make it four perfect and then we're gonna bevel it we have bevel going on and then let's rotate it by 45 degrees so okay something like this and go to top view now let's see let's do this again because i want to reposition it the slowing down is basically due to blender this is nothing to do with hard ups it's just blender shit coding they're trying to fix this uh proxy's been working like crazy and master zeal on this one so let's see if they manage cool we got this cut that's what i wanted okay now what i'm gonna do is grab this cutter and actually grab the bottom face and scale it just a little bit like that so i got this kind of like a um scaling going in inside yeah which is what i want in fact you know what let's do it again um let's try here like this and then sx so maybe double y there we go i don't know why okay now this should be better because i wanted to go on both sides there we go and now we can actually control sharpen this and now the problem is that we have these do we have overlapping stuff here yeah, this is dangerous okay this is really dangerous we don't want that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply remove them okay do something like this unfortunately we could do this on the on the on the cutter but you know it's just gonna be simpler to do this one i don't want these things there okay um this is this might cause shading issue on after baking so might be fine but might be not never know we also need to fix um the supporting lines of these of this um uh, of this bullion okay so now let's see we need to we need to create supporting lines but in a way that they actually do not mess up the bevels and this is not gonna be that easy uh, because they are angled right however what we could do is we could simply combine them uh, here so create a line here between this one in the middle and this one in the middle like that that's one and do the same thing across so remove these two right and create a line between this and this then we can remove these ones right and then we could actually create diagonal lines here or a straight line from a corner but it would need to be one of these so c and like that i think we can copy this so let's see just modify uh, use a symmetry and copy this across and it should be fine and now we can remove all these uh, all these lines which we don't need and these ones as well and let's hope that this will not cause any problems with shading hopefully it's gonna be all right so now what we need to do is simply uh, run a bevel on it right so let's try to select these faces Control plus and then go to select similar and not similar loops and boundary loops and this should allow us to we got some problem here what's the problem here double lines i think let's fix this so we're simply gonna run three cleanup from uh, machine machine tools which is a one k 
click deal. I still can't believe this add-on is free. It's just too good. It's like finding gold in your basement, literally. Absolutely love machine tools. This is very, very dangerous, right? You see this? When I was selecting, where is this edge? Here, selecting edges, I didn't notice it. And if you do not notice it and actually bevel it and bake it, you're going to have a bad day. I could actually bevel one and simply copy it. You know, that's what I'm going to do, actually. This is still something is not right here. We, let's see if we can fix this. See, this line here is, is it straight? I don't know. I'm going to use machine tools to align it. So I'm going to use this dot and this dot, Alt A and bottom. Nope, that didn't work. Let's try mirror tools. It actually is straight, so it's an optical illusion. Fascinating. All right, then. Well, if it's straight, it's straight. Let's try to bevel this now. See how it goes. We're going to use a lot of um, edges here. Uh, see? Again, this got pulled. Let's try again. That's why, you know, making these decals, it really takes time because you really have to be careful. Very careful. One mistake and the entire thing can go to shit. So... Let's copy this across, and I think we should be fine. Now, let's do the same thing with these, because we don't want hard edges over there. So we can just simply bevel it like this, and we're going to be fine. All right. So now I think we can bake it and see how we're doing, right? So now we have three elements, okay? So now you can choose which one you want to be of a different color. For example... I would like to merge this one with the base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply check if I have no modifiers running. That's important, right? And I'm going to select first this one and then the base, not the other way around, okay? And before I do that, I'm going to actually move this origin point to the cursor. So I'm going to move origin point to the cursor, right? So it stays on the same level as as the base. I'm going to click this one and this one and control J and, you know, pray to the God of Verts that everything is fine. And this one and this one, and then I'm going to bake it. Okay. So when I'll bake it, um, this handle and the base going to be of the same color and this one's going to be different. I could, for example, do the same thing for bolts. And, uh, we can actually do a second bake later. You know what? We need to also bevel this. We forgot about that, didn't we? There we go. That will look nasty. So let's symmetrize it again. And now everything should be peachy. Uh, because what I'm saying is like we, we could separate these bolts, you know, the um, these elements from the mesh. Well, now we have a bevel going on, but hey, we also have machine tool, uh, mesh machine, so we could actually remove it by simply pressing on unfuse. And you see that's going to work perfectly. And then we're going to click on unchamfer. And that's why a mesh machine is so bloody good. Because now what we can do, we can rip this off, right? Watch. We can rip this off like that. So selection. Okay. And now grab this bottom. Where is it? This one. That's the one. And we need to make sure that there's a face in here. There's a face in here. There is a face in here. Perfect. So... This one doesn't have a face. We need to create a face here, right? Whoops. And we need to uh, bevel it like this, okay? And we need to put a sharp edge in here. So mark sharp and mark sharp. Perfect. And this should work. Now we could actually select all these. So I'm going to actually um, symmetrize it and then I'm going to... Uh, symmetrize it too so i'm gonna um, um, click on a mirror and go modify a mirror with shift then i'm gonna apply that mirror okay and i don't have to really move the origin anywhere because the origin is the same as the main plane but i can now select these and this and Control j so now the bolts should have the same color as the base and the handles and this one's gonna be of a different color okay so i select this one then this one then I'm going to save because Blender. And then I'm going to go to um, Machine, Decal Machine, and let's pump the settings. And 
let's create subset decal okay here we go so let's try it shall we let's go to look def mode grab this top plane and shift d to copy this is massive yes yeah, so we need to make it just a bit smaller and maybe even a bit more small or you know what we could do we could actually make this bowl bigger there we go that's gonna be a better idea because we can see actually the full quality of it so not this one this one shift d copy this and d and whoops so turn off the hard ups d out and project and look at this everything looks peachy there's no geo pulling this is really clean we did a fantastic job there's a pulling in here but that due to um parallax we're gonna change that so let's adjust it now shall we so d um adjust e let's pull it up and then let's start pulling it gently down with a shift in place you see see this corner here see that geo being pulled that's really tough on corners yeah so if the corners are too close to one another if it was any closer, it would get really worse, yeah? So you might actually give it a bit more spacing or less spacing. So there's like literally not, not just a gap. So this is like a touch and feel thing, okay? You need to figure out your, uh, you know, um, the distance. But let's try to, let's try to fix the, um, the height because it's sinking in a little bit, just a bit. There we go. Uh, let's duplicate this ball and let's... Um, let's add another whoops not this one um let's add another material preferably darker one so something like this and let's see how this is gonna work for us right so let's actually change colors on it so now if i simply press on here d and match now you got two options you see so you got first material and then if you press d and shift you can you have second material you see that so now you can change between those two and you can create stuff like this now anti-aliasing right this really can't be helped so you know you might want to stick until actually the um uh, we get a better resolution for bakes uh, you might want to stick with the same color as the base so um I wouldn't create, for example, dark outlines and um, on a bright background. So I would avoid actually matching dark insides with the very bright ones because you might end up with jagged edges. There's nothing, literally nothing you can do about it. You know, if there was maybe anti-aliasing here higher than that, maybe it would be better. But um, I wish there was a way of fixing it, but unfortunately there isn't. So um, you might possibly be able to do it in photoshop if you really wanted to but that's just you know a lot of work so the easiest way to go about it is um simply changing this one to the dark color and simply manipulating with the middle part that's why you need to decide beforehand which part you want to be of a different color than the base because base whichever items are linked to the base will inherit the color of the object they land on so if i change color in here right to the other one okay i can simply go here and press reapply and it will readjust the color automatically okay and then i simply go to shift and i change color of the middle part you see how it works but this is pretty cool because you can have um, a really 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 decent illusion of geometry because the quality is just really good so now we can add this one to the library so the same way as, as we did in the previous part you simply create a library if you don't have one so in preferences you go to decal machine and open this panel go down top here type your name press enter it's gonna appear in here then go up here reload save preferences and you're done and then all you need to do is select the decal, not the geo, the decal, right? So make sure it's a decal. And it has to be the decal that's been created on top of the smash. Do not move it. If you move it, you're fucked. Okay, so that's why I shift D it because I didn't want to 
to relocate this decal you just leave it as it is right and you click on that after it's been created and you scroll down here you select your folder and you simply add to decal library and now you can use that decal through your library so if you go to the library you created it's gonna take a bit to load because it's like thousands of them and you can see this decal in here so you can add it to your scene and you know project it and there you go and that is how you create subset decals with decal machine in blender that's all for this video guys hope you enjoyed it if you did give me a sub and like i really appreciate it also if you do not have decal machine machine tools and other add-ons like hard ups or box cutter i'm leaving affiliate links in the video description so if you'd like to buy them you can just click on the link and it's going to help the channel at the same time thanks for watching Catch you in the next one.